Hello, hello, and welcome back, everyone. I'm Sacred Sage. I hope you guys are having a good day today. Today, we're going to be talking about how to hide and delete geometry. But before that, as a quick reminder, if this video helps you out in any way, shape, or form, consider subscribing and leaving a like or comment. I'd really appreciate that. So with that out the way, let's get into it. All right, so I am here in Daz. I already got it loaded up, and we are good to go. So, there is a lot dealing with Geometry Editor because that is what we are going to be using today. But I'm only going to do the hide and delete and show for the geometry because the, the Geometry Editor is really, really deep and I don't even understand the majority of what's going on in it. So, right now I have the desk selected. And if you go to Tools and we go to Geometry Editor, I have this selected, but you can just change it. You can hold down the control button and select even more if you wanted, or you can hold down the alt button and deselect. Now, depending on how the asset is put together is going to determine what it gets selected when you click that. This is what they call a face. So this whole piece is one face. So let us select something else. Let me get out of this real quick. Let's select the chair here and we will go back into the geometry editor. See the, that is one face. That is one face. You can select both. It's two faces and that is how this piece was put together and as it gets lower the faces vary. Okay so there is that. Now you could take these items into Blender and add faces and add vertices. I don't know if you can do it in Daz. There's probably a way because Daz normally has some back ass would way to do that. But we're not gonna we're not gonna worry about that. It's just gonna be hiding, deleting, and showing. So let's take this face right here off the chair. We can right click and we can go into uh, geometry visibility and we can hide this polygon boop and it is gone so if we go and we look all you see is the inside of the chair and that is it now if you save this scene and you come back and you load it back up like let's say you completely close out of Daz you launch it back up you load the scene that polygon will be back it'll reappear if you delete it it will not so if you take let's say this and we go to editing and we go to delete selected polygon and we click yes yes we want to delete it that will not come back right so let's go ahead just to show you save scene um let's go to Let's call it blah blah. Sounds good. Save, accept. Now we are going to open up that same one. Whoop. Here we go. And let us open. And when this loads back up, what it's going to have is one polygon deleted and then the other one that was hidden is going to show again it'll give it a minute but that is the majority of what i deal with in geometry editor i don't really mess with too much more besides that and it's not even that often i actually use a geometry editor anymore before i used to do a lot of cutouts and like add pictures and stuff like that but I found the easier ways to do that because you can just apply that as a texture or other stuff so geometry editor I really don't use too much and as you can tell this one is deleted and this is the one that we hid in so it'll automatically unhide now let's say you wanted to just without restarting your scene and you want to show your Vertice in this. Oops, that'd probably help if I had on the right one. So let's do that. Bam. Let's say this is already hidden. 
you, as you can tell, there's the show all polygon. So let's say this one's hidden. Now we can right click visibility and we can just show all polygons and it is back. Anyways, I hope this video helps you out. If it did, you know what to do. Send some love and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.